On today's video, drama in KVKs is something that is very typical. And in this light versus darkness, we got just that. The light kingdoms beat the dark kingdoms and got Kingsland. But when it was time to talk rewards, things did not go well at all. And while each side has something to say about the other, well, in the process, two of these kingdoms ended up taking the ziggurat by force. So sit back, slap a like on the video, and let's go. Hey there, YouTube. Welcome back to Gecko Gaming. This KVK is all sorts of wildness, and we're going to talk about it in a second before we start. Don't forget to drop a like on the video and hit that subscribe down below. Tomorrow, we have an interesting video about an uncommon pair of garrison that has been doing extremely well. So make sure you don't miss that by hitting the bell down below so you get a notification when we upload a new video. And here we go. So I was hit up about this KVK about like two or three days ago. And actually by multiple people. And they were telling me that there's a backstab about to happen. The way this KVK worked out is as followed. This is a light versus darkness, which is essentially top and bottom versus left and right. And the kingdoms involved are 2148, 2155, 2139, and 2161 for the light team. And 2141, 20, uh, sorry, 2141, 2146, 2162, and 2154 for the darkness. In the light, I believe I said 2148 as the first one. And for the sake of it, I'm not going to say 21 anymore. Only 48, 55, 39, and 61 versus 41, 46, 62, and 54. But we'll, we'll, don't worry, it won't get as complicated. I was hit up and told that the folks in 55 and 39, which is two of the four light teams, were not happy at all. They wanted more rewards at the end of KVK, and they were contacting the Darkness team in order to potentially create a, uh, a different uh, arrangement. From my understanding of the situation, we'll talk about both sides. Do not worry just yet. Tell on first side and then second side. Don't worry. From my understanding of the situation, 61 and 48, which were the bigger kingdoms in that KVK, had the, the hardest fights from my under, from what I was told. Again, I'm not part of this KVK. I can't know exactly what happened there. And as a result, they wanted 61 to get the ziggurat at the end. Kingdom 55 was not having it and wanted to get that ziggurat reward. And so they started essentially kind of, quote unquote, conspiring against their teammates. Now, it's not exactly like that because there's the other side that we'll talk about as well. Do not worry. 55 side is also in this story. But for now, what you need to know is that that was the first thing that I heard. And then I started talking to people that I know both from 55 and from 39. There's a guy, 39 is one person. And then some co a couple of people from 61. And the stories are really conflicting because of a perception more than anything else. And so for 61 and 48, it seemed like a no-brainer that they would get the rewards. They fought the most. They had the highest stat drops and stat gains and whatever the heck not throughout the KVK, at least according to, to my understanding. Again, I'm not saying that that's 100% the capital T truth of what happened. And in the process, apparently, when the light team came together to talk diplomacy, they agreed that... This is going to be a, at the end, the light teams will kind of duke it out and last man standing gets the ziggurat. When 55 was told that there, this is not going to happen, they're like, well, but you guys are going back on your award and therefore if you guys don't have a award to fall back on, we'll talk to our enemies and give them a better deal than you guys are giving them for end, end of war rewards and then they'll be on our side. And that's pretty much what happened. 55 and 39 essentially paired up with the kingdom of uh, kingdoms in dark to get rid of 61 and 48 and claim the ziggurat as well as give better rewards to the dark team. Now, I don't know exactly. We will also never know exactly the truth, right? 55 think that they're right and 39 think that they're right. 61 and 55 think that they're right and 48 think that they're right. And 61 and 48 have all these different screenshots and proof of conspiracy while 55 and 39 also have tons of screenshots of of broken promises and whatever the heck not. And from my understanding, 61 even went into a civil war due to some leadership conflict due to what happened with the diplomacy in this KVK, which caused even more issues. But that I have not confirmed. I was just told that yesterday on stream when we were spectating this KVK. Now, here's my take on all of this. 
First of all, when two sides have very different stories, but are fairly similar that are all about rewards, it tells me that something in the communication there was not good from the beginning. Either that or someone went back on their reward and therefore it works out. It doesn't work out at all, right? To an extent, coming up with how we're going to divide KVK rewards ahead of time before the fights and before everything else is a little bit of a problem because what ends up happening is someone always puts in more effort than another kingdom because that's just how it is. And then the kingdom that put more, e more effort feel like they should get more where they don't necessarily get that extra, that, that courtesy per se or something like that of the other kingdoms around. And so in 55's perspective, they were like, we agreed for a last man standing. In 61 and 48's perspective, they're like, well, you guys barely had any fighting to do to an extent and therefore why would we now fight you guys and you guys and it was a whole big of a mess okay it's a giant mess but at the end of the day it all comes comes down to who is willing to give up on rewards and who isn't and 55 was not willing to compromise on the rewards at all they wanted the ziggurat at all costs now the one thing and only thing I will say about this whole scenario is that the people that are around surrounding this story are people that have heard their names before in negative connotations for different sketchy things. So I'm not naming names and I'm not going after like specific targets or specific kingdoms, but be that as it may, it does seem like some of the, like uh, uh, something keeps happening again and again within particular individuals within these sides. And somehow this ends up being an issue over and over and over three kvks now not and i'm not saying only 55 or only 39 or only 48 or only 61 people from ample sides have been in many conflicts throughout their time in rise of kingdoms that were not necessarily the cleanest conflicts per se they were diplomatic issues over fighting issues per se but at the end of all of this the folks in 55 and 39 managed to give the guys in dark a better deal. And as a, as, as a result of it, 61 and 48 got pushed back out of Kingsland. I did not watch them really put too much effort into stopping this. And even when they lost their own passes as 40, as uh, 40, well, not, not 40, 39 and 55 are pushing in and pushing them out of their zone six now. They did not put up that big of a fight to let that go. That went down very quickly. And so it seems that maybe 55 and 39 had a point to an extent because it seems like they have the, the ability to, to get the fight going. But on the other hand, if they did not fight as much during KVK because their opposition had civil wars in it, had some issues in it, had like a bunch of stuff happen there. In those kingdoms, I think that Two kingdoms in that whole KVK had civil wars throughout the KVK or before the KVK, and then 61 had one after the whole shebang with the uh, with the the Kingsland. And so again, it's it's a really hard way to quantify, but maybe 55 saw an opportunity in which they are at this point stronger, the strongest one of them all, and pushed their way into rewards and maybe it's the other way around maybe it's the folks of uh, 61 and 48 who snaked 55 out of and 39 out of a potential fair way of distributing rewards i don't know i don't know to tell you who's right who's wrong but i did want to bring this kind of a this kind of a story to you guys we haven't talked about many kvks in this channel for a while uh, the the quote unquote meta or what you guys have been seem to have been enjoying more is people who live stream kvks and I'm not a big, big fan of live streaming KVKs just because it's much harder to tell stories. It's much harder to uh, to talk strategy and all that when you're live on stream because you can potentially influence the outcome of those KVKs. So I think that we're going to go back a little bit into recording KVKs and tell, telling stories from KVKs and a little bit of the uh, of the of the in and outs of what happens in the KVKs that is not necessarily a live streamed piece of content. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about that. I do want to get back a little bit into the uh, into the stories of things happening in KVK in kingdoms all around civil wars. Um, it's like any awesome KVKs going on, any strategic things that are cool like this this video tomorrow about this garrison that we're going to do i did not know about it at all this came from some of you guys out there who have been doing this and doing it successfully to the point where it's 
it's just we can't not highlight it, you know? So we're going to go back a little bit more into that. So make sure you're subscribed down below for more of that. And if you have anything cool going on, any KVK going on, anything like that, it doesn't have to be a huge one. It can be about all Bs and Cs and Ds kingdoms. That's completely fine because we can find good stuff being done by the community everywhere. And so, yeah. I'm Gecko. I'm out of here. Appreciate you to drop the like on this video. Subscribe down below, and I will see you in the next video. Take care and have a good one. Peace.